My name is Jill. Um, I came to Dr. Kaiser from highly recommended other people. Um, I went to several doctors to have a consultation done, and I wasn't impressed with their services, so I came to Dr. Kaiser. Um, he made my decision, and they say, do your homework, which I did. And I did my homework for a long time, and I'm very happy with everything that I've had with Dr. Kaiser. Um, and I'm happy with my results. I've had no problems, and everything is wonderful. Uh, my initial concerns was I had a child at age 20 and I always had a small chest so I wanted to go to a little bit bigger and comfortable and I didn't want that um, that fake look, that you know sitting too high look which I don't, I, my biggest thing is that they look natural, I'm happy with them, no, no more padded bras um, and I can wear clothes that look good and I'm happy in a bathing suit and it's great. Um, I am two and a half years out of surgery, we used uh, silicone gel and um, the feel is very natural. It, it's not um, fake like you feel, like you think you'd feel. But it's very natural. So, how are the scars? Uh, scars are perfect. You can't even see them. I, I don't even notice them at all. The plunges in nicely. Yes, they did. Perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Absolutely. Good. It was a great experience, especially at the um, surgical center too. When you came in and saw me, and every time I've seen you, I feel like I'm your only patient, and I feel comfortable. Because I thought I was really embarrassed and really nervous, and I was very comfortable and happy. And I can't say how happy I am that I did it. Awesome. So I had a few other consultations, which I was impressed with being a nurse. That made me, you know, ask extra questions. And this is where I wanted to be, and this is where I wanted to come because I knew I was in good hands. So I'm very happy. So being a nurse, you're in the medical profession, mm -hmm. and uh, how did that uh, impact you? What did you look for? Um, I mostly looked for the process of how the surgery was going to go. I'm an emergency room nurse, so I see lots of things. Um, I was more concerned about how the process was going to go as far as am I in a surgery center if something goes wrong, is there other people there from the anesthesiologist to the nurses to Dr. Kaiser, everything was fantastic, comfortable. I felt great going in. I wasn't even nervous going in, so um, it was great. Everything was great. Yeah, another decision that helped me was um, the procedural practices of how they did the um, procedure and where it was done as a, in an office as opposed to a surgical center. Um, there's not enough recovery people there or the qualified people in case something goes wrong. Um, and my procedure was done as a surgical center where there is people if something goes wrong. Um, also, Dr. Kaiser is board certified, and the other physicians that I saw were not board certified. Um, that's a huge decision for me, again, being in the medical field. Um, they have to be board certified, in my opinion, to be doing the procedures they're doing and doing them correctly. Um, you work hard for those certifications, and um, that's, that's what makes the difference in my eyes, and the one-on-one uh, -on -one care, and feeling like I'm the only patient and everything was explained to me before the surgery in detail. So that's, uh, that, that was another huge decision in my, in my making my final decision. So I did my homework. <laughs> As we were talking about, the state doesn't regulate who does what and where. Anybody can do anything they want in this state, which Correct. has been a problem, Correct. especially for surgeons who are certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgeons. Correct. Uh, there are surgeons in this state mm -hmm. who have not trained properly, Correct. who are not representing themselves. Have you gotten the sense that that's the case? Can you go into explain that a little bit? Not being board certified, in my opinion, is not qualified to do the surgery. Um, I don't think that they have the right tools and the right training to make sure that you recover properly and that you have the proper procedure as far as your results and your health to make sure that you're taken care of. Now these surgeons who are not plastic surgeons, they call themselves cosmetic surgeons. Correct. There are also some of these surgeons who are perhaps possibly certified in other specialties. Correct. Um, one of the surgeons that I saw used to be an emergency room physician. Uh, that scares me because I see the things that are done in the ER and they don't have that gentle hand and that gentle touch. They, um, you know, they fix people. They don't uh, go in to do the, that gentle touch and make sure that it, you know, makes your body unique and your body beautiful because um, that's what most people are looking for when they come. It, you know, they spend their money and they want a nice result and they want their health and that's a little scary to me that they're not board certified, so. Did that doctor portray himself anything other than an emergency room physician? Um, 
He didn't tell me per se that that was his background. I had done research beforehand. Um, when I asked about the procedure, it was um, a small hole to be cut underneath my arm and the implant to be just pushed through that small hole and then sewed up and sent home, you know, as soon as I woke up from the sedation, which is um, a little bit perturbing to me. Was there mention of an anesthesiologist? None. 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 Even an anesthetist? None. 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 A nurse. And I'm a nurse and I'm qualified to do sedation in the emergency room under a physician, but I would never um, be comfortable in an office doing sedation without an anesthetist or a CRNA or someone who's licensed in anesthesia. So. Pretty scary stuff when you think about it. Uh, it made me a little nervous. I kind of packed my stuff up pretty quick and yeah. said, oh, thanks for, thanks for your time and I'll... Um, what would you say to patients as far as those who might think that they're going to a reputable surgeon to look for, uh, for clarity or information that would perhaps educate them a little bit better as far as who to go to? I know that our society is very clear about making sure that you're certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgeons. Mm -hmm. I believe that there's inherently Nothing wrong per se about operating in a suite within your facility, but we find also that many of these physicians don't have admission privileges Correct. to a hospital. Correct. Uh, and so if there is unfortunately a problem, they are left to send that patient to the emergency Correct. room under the care of someone else because Correct. they can't provide care in that facility. Correct. I have actually heard that physicians may be on staff, but they're two or three hours away, mm -hmm. which is obviously not within proximity Correct. of reasonable care. Correct. And have, so I, those are my perceptions. Would you, any comments on that? Um, my biggest comment is um, obviously do your consultation, your office visit, see how you feel when you get there, ask questions, ask all of the questions, even if you think it's a dumb question, ask every question you can, um, find out about the recovery process, the procedure, who's going to be in that room with you, what facility it's going to be done in, um, as far as aftercare like you mentioned, is there going to be somebody available to help you if something went wrong with your procedure. Um, and just to make sure that you have the proper people working on you and that you're comfortable going in. And again, I keep repeating the sentence, do your homework, because I hear that on the radio all the time. You need to do your homework, and I did mine, and I'm happy I did. So, very happy with that. All right, well, this is, this is really um, relevant information. Absolutely. And I can't thank you enough for sharing uh, not only your experience with us, but from the inside as, as a medical professional. Not a problem. And, and that, that's really helpful, hopefully, to other patients who I hope are so. taking this journey. Too. I hope so. I, I just want them to know that there is that option out there if you want to do it and you want to change your body. I wanted to do it for so long, and I, I t it took me a long time to make my decision. Obviously, when I found you, I, uh, that made my decision. So um, that's the most important thing is that you're happy with who you're going with. Don't um, You get what you pay for. You see all these specials, and uh, if you're paying $2,500, that's what you're going to get is $2,500 worth of it. You do, you get what you pay for, and I'm happy with everything. So. Yeah, because this is actually a lifelong decision, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah.